Well, good morning, everyone. I am working on the Honey Mermaid Diamond Art Club today. And this is what I've got so far. You can see the uh, pool of honey is almost done, the bottom. And then her tail. Some of her hair is starting to show. So I'm just scooting it around on my desk. I am right over here. I'm working from the bottom up. I took the plastic off up to up to here. So this is exposed. I'm going to cover this with some parchment paper with the squares, the pre-cut squares. And I've used these probably dozens of times with the uh, big pack that I bought. I haven't even used half of them. It's still kind of uh, early here. The sun's just coming up. Well, the sun isn't really coming up. It's getting daylight. I think it's going to be cloudy and rainy today. See the chickens are out. Can't see that right now. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to see. Okay. There's a guy walking his dog. <laughs> and his dog went over there to that chicken. <laughs> All right. Um I get distracted by them chickens. Okay. Uh, so far they have stayed on that side of the street. But they're getting bold. They are starting to cross the street. All right, so that edge right there, I always have half sheets too for the edges. All right, I'm gonna bring this this way. See if I can get it close. I'm watching the news. See if you can see that. I'm not very good at this. All right, I guess that's that'll work.
dogs like them, it fills them up. Low calories for, for a dog that's overweight. All right, take a look here at Sky Track. We got some snow moving through. I'll say it again. Some snow moving through early this morning. We'll talk about how long these snowflakes will ruin, I mean, impact your day today coming up. Live look outside. You can see that. We got you covered. Don't worry about it. Yes, we do. Check out all the sights and sounds of the Tigers home opener, as only Fox 2 can do. <laughs> Opening day in the day, it's like a spring renewal for the Tigers, a spring renewal for Detroiters. I'm going to need a big Go Tigers for my lady. <laughs> I'm going to bring in Ray. Uh, he is from Clinton Township, and I wonder who he is rooting for today, Ray. Uh, definitely not the White Sox. <laughs> I guarantee if you come down, you're going to have a ball. Uh, I need some coffee and maybe a little shot of something, a little bourbon on the side. I'm going to go get some beer for Hammer because it's not going to be a lot more <laughs> Yes. May I just say, sharp dressed Al? Yes, he is. <laughs> Who are you wearing? <laughs> Who is one of the best basketball players you know? Definitely Thomas. <laughs> my first opening day. I had to show off my first opening day. Okay, listen, let's have some fun. I am so excited. We got the game right here. Forget opening day. We have it right here. at home, good for you because you are hospital and bored. Good for you, too. Jack. <laughs> and Mickey. Wave, Mickey, wave, 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 Mickey, Miguel Cabrera, everybody. Hey, you guys have heard of dueling pianos, right? How about dueling tiger suits here? Feels like a big winning energy today. What, we're in Indiana all the way here to the D. Are you kicking us out? <laughs> we're taking off. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, we enjoy having you here. Sox fans out there. It's just great to see fans. I mean, dude, there's people, there's, there's music, there's there are, there are cold beers to be had. <laughs> Speaking of fashion, we just have to show Dina Senefani. She's she's all fashioned up. This is what we call. In the wings to be just, on camera. <laughs> Ryan and I are like men in black. He didn't put us on camera. Come on, get a three shot here. There is just all sorts of wildlife around me right now. This is Two uh, on the TV right here, John. Get out of the way. I'm watching. Uh, Hello? No, please. Uh, I'm not sure how much I can talk, but we're good to go. We're good. It's gone time. It's a rally cry, yeah. We're trying to rally. We're, yeah. We're going to win today. Yeah. Happy opening day. Why do you have this much, with this many potato chips? We were having trouble getting all the bubble yum out of our mouth the Major League too, so Bobby went and got us something to wash it down Thanks, with. Bobby. On your mind? Get set? Go! Go, go, go. I won a beer truck once my junior year in college at the butt. True story. He let me borrow his Tiger's jacket because he felt as though I was underdressed, and he is now wearing my vest. I'll just got some of my dog hair on it. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm going to tell you how many people downtown were asking for Maria Lou yesterday. Oh my gosh, what? Yes, everybody said, her spot is the Elwood. Where is the L? At the L at the Elwood. Maybe next year, but you were holding it down and I saw you went with the uh, blue hoodie. It was, was cold. It comfortable? It was co I was comfortable. I wore the tennis shoes. I, I went with comfort over style. Yes, we did a uh, fashion show. Yeah, Derek did, yeah. did several yeah. outfits for us yeah. on yeah. Wednesday on the 9th. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. nice. It worked out. Uh, you know what else worked out? Jack White worked out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, uh, fans turned out for a concert. They got a whole lot more last night in Detroit. According to several published reports, the Detroit rocker capped off a memorable day after singing the national anthem at opening day by both proposing and marrying his girlfriend, singer Olivia Jean, in front of a sold-out crowd at Detroit's Masonic Temple. 
The memorable and very personal performance took place on the first night of his Supply Chain Issues tour. Wow. Hey, you guys, we are at Canterbury Village. Let me tell you something about Jack White from the White Stripes. Um, my daughter met him. Now, <clears throat> he, he uh, touts himself as being a very non- rock star kind of rock star he um projects himself as like you know the average joe um now she works as a server and this particular restaurant he went into and she texted me and she said Jack White is sitting at one of my tables. And she's thinking, you know, I wonder how this is going to be. So I told her, you know, just act normal. Just treat him like anybody else. Don't ask for his autograph or anything. Because I heard that he doesn't like that. So she does. She serves him. She said he made unusual requests like um she sat him at a single table he wanted a double table like two tables pushed together even though he was by himself um he didn't make too many unusual demands or anything he was quiet so she's thinking you know this guy's got money maybe i'll get a good tip out of it and he was a very cheap tipper. For a celebrity, he tipped like the average Joe. And then her manager said that he goes in there all the time and he doesn't tip well. And that one time, there were some uh, college students in there, a group of them, celebrating graduation. And Jack White said, I'll pay for all their desserts, the whole group. It's on me, the, the desserts. So then they get all the desserts ready. They serve the students. Jack White gets up and leaves and did not pay for the desserts. Can you believe that shit? I, I couldn't believe it. All right, that's my Jack White story. Back to the news. Michigan goes. We have a few isolated cells, but some of these cells are pretty intense, kind of squall-like snow lines here extending from now near Macomb, uh, passing Troy. Good news is they don't last all that long, but when it passes over you, so Troy, maybe about 15 minutes ago, if you were awake and you looked out your window, you were like, are we in the middle of winter here? That's kind of what it's like as this heavier snow tracks across. This line <clears throat> is showing some indications of weakening a bit. It was stronger 15, 20, 30 minutes ago, but it is still dropping some snowflakes, heavier bands of snow tracking into and through parts of Canada. And then the western side of the state still dealing with a bit of snow as this lake effect kind of set up is coming off of Lake Michigan. The waters are a bit warmer. The air is a bit colder, and the air is a bit colder. We'll get into temperatures in just a sec. Here's Fox Futurecast. As we plan out the rest of your Saturday, spotty, wintry precip will take us until around 3 o'clock today. I think between 2 and 3, we will begin to see this what will probably be a mixture of rain and snow. Now, it's snowflakes early, transitioning to raindrops later. I think it all comes to an end after 3 o'clock. Then we should clear out sunny day out there. Really, for most of Sunday, we're going to see the sunshine. Clouds will roll in later Sunday, past midnight into the early hours Monday morning. We're going to see some rounds of rain tracking in. So we will be warming up between today and Monday. We're going to add around 20 degrees to our forecast. So the threat of ending snowflakes or winter precip, that exits. Um, but with it is going to come some increased moisture and some rain showers. So here's the temperatures across the state, all the way up to the Sioux at 27 degrees. We're at 34. Snowflakes are being picked up all around, uh, and we may actually see some of that for early tailgaters. If you're headed down to tailgate for the Tigers game today, playing another game today. Yesterday was opening day, but we got a Saturday game at 110, 41 degrees. Spotty showers, maybe some snowflakes mixing in, definitely a possibility. Feels like temperature, so the wind chill numbers... 
through today are going to be colder, so the wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour, it's going to be a cold breeze today. That's going to keep it feeling like the mid-30s. Thermometer will read low 40s, maybe getting to 44 degrees. Cloudy skies with a few passing showers, snowflakes mix in early. We clear up tonight, clouds will decrease. Eventually, we're going to get to just straight clear skies tonight. Checking out the full seven-day forecast. This is a promising trend here as we jump up into the 60s. By Monday, we'll stay in the 60s, maybe even up our 60s as we head into the middle of the week. We'll enjoy four days of the 60s. We will cool off Friday, probably Saturday of next week as well. But, hey, there's some good news there. Guys, over to you. All right, Derek, thank you. Well, Easter just around the corner, and today kids can get an early start in the celebration, Charlie. That's right, Mario. The annual Canterbury Village Egg Drop. Oh, it's happening today, and Fox News' Veronica Meadows joins us out live. Good morning, Veronica. Hey, Charlie, Mario. Good morning to you both as well. Like you both said, we are celebrating Easter early here at Canterbury Village, and that also comes with bringing out our snow gear, Keith Aldridge. I, I tell you what, uh, this winter is, uh, is, is sure lingering around here, isn't it? It definitely, definitely is, but that's okay. It's not going to stop pl uh, plenty of folks from coming out to celebrate today. No, we have a great egg drop uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, helicopter, it seems to bring the best out of people, and uh, lots of kids are going to be excited. Canterbury Village. Awesome. Is there anything new? What can folks expect this year? Well, like we do at Canterbury Village, we kind of go over the top. So this year we have a 40-foot uh, Santa, or 40-foot Santa. We also do have a 40-foot Santa, but that Santa has gone away for the yeah. season. We have a 40-foot bunny, which is, it's, you'll, I'm sure you'll show it later on in the program. Uh, it is awesome. It's really cool. Uh, obviously, we have our uh, bunny here and our dinosaur bunny here with, uh, with Ripley, and uh, it's going to be lots of fun. Let's come over to our dinosaur friend so we can get a closer look at him. Do people oh, that's going to scare the hell ever? out of the kids. Uh, well, it's sometimes when the kids are little, they, they take a little time to warm up. And then, he, you know, he gets down on the ground and people pet him and then he warms up. Everybody warms up very quickly to him. So, he, you know, he's a showstopper for us at Canterbury. A hundred percent. And he even has his bunny ears on, yep. ready to celebrate Easter with us, too. He does. He's got his bunny ears on today. It's going to be a great day for, uh, for those that bought tickets and uh, lots of fun. What has it been like for you being able to incorporate dinosaurs like this into really all of your celebrations, really making that unique? It is, and, um, it, you know, it's been a whirlwind the, our last 10 months with dinosaurs at Canterbury Village. We have a tour that goes around the country. Uh, kids love to come out here and see them, obviously. We all right, dinosaurs. I'm going to wrap this up. I don't want this to get too long. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up this right here and then i'm uh, pretty much at the halfway point so not too much longer all right i hope everybody has a great saturday and my nose is running so i gotta go take care of that and make some more coffee have a good saturday